Chat, here we go. We don't have our overlay right now, but I'll try and fix it here for a second. We have Nass versus Juicy. Juicy had a great matchup just a couple days ago against Nush. So we've got him up against rank one Nass. That's right. The start of the season, Nass has hit rank one. And he's looking to put the hurt on Juicy. And he's off to a good start. Oh, I think I just hit it for some reason. Why would I do that? Um, interesting. Let me just refresh it all here. And there we go. All right. Nass, rank one, like I said, has been grinding at the start of the new season. The season did just switch over. Juicy has looked like a top 1v1-er. But every time I go through his history of 1v1s, it doesn't seem like he's really been given enough chances to go up against the best of the best. Wow. But he's not going to have it easy here against Nass, who is been turning into not just a top five player on the EU servers. Well, I guess if we go all EU servers, it could get a little bit tough, but e even that is maybe okay. I have to think about it a little bit harder, but Nas has really been grinding high and he's going to continue to put the smack down on Juicy. Juicy having a tough time on the kickoffs. Wave dash kickoff for Nas makes it 3-0. Juicy maybe time to delay or mix up the kickoff in some way. Nass able to dive and get the 100. I like to see the wheels that Nass is using. Faking that late flick. It does fall all the way to the ground. I think he tried to pre-flip around the ball there. Tap it on target. Wasn't able to, but most important thing is that he's continued to keep Juicy starved out. We actually got a bit creative there with zero boost. He got a reset on the ball. And use that as a way to get a bit of power. What a crazy early challenge. Nasa just started his dribble on his own back wall. And Juicy's had enough of it. He's trying to get a favorable 50 here. He had that challenge from Nas Red. He was hoping he could punish him for being aggressive. But not quite able to do so. He has forced Nas back. He's going to double into this corner or at least attempt to. But too far out to the midfield means Juicy possession. And he really needs a solid one here. As he's trying to get... Any shot on goal. Hoping for maybe a 50, but had to bail off that dribble. Now it's a Nass possession. Faking the flick. Juicy did not fall for it. That top left corner was available. But Juicy electing to force Nass to beat him at the start of the game, which is not a bad idea. Nass went high to try and prevent Juicy from having a play on the ball by doubling it, I imagine. I had switched perspectives right at the moment that we would have been able to tell. But he was nowhere around for the double. You hear about the earthquake in Morocco? I did not hear about the earthquake in Morocco. I think Nass, by the way, is not in Morocco. I want to say he's in Belgium, in case anyone was wondering. Um, but I'm sure he's probably heard about it, if it happened. Juicy. Actually, it seemed like he was almost tilt retreating, if that makes sense. After this wave dash, I don't know, he's just dashing his way out of the play. But he actually still had a chance. He almost got back there in time. Oh, the earthquake was devastating? That's not great to hear. Juicy with Nass backing off. Not a bad opportunity to try and air dribble bump him. Does decide to go for the flick. Plays into Nass, who was prepared on the goal line. Juicy, never afraid to take any possession and turn it into a dribble. And as uh, tough as it was to collect that ball and turn it into a shot, at the end of the day, getting to the top of the arena and slamming the ball directly down to ground heights is very likely to result in a counterattack if you don't score. And... Juicy was not able to get it through. Juicy now another soft flick. Those kind of flicks are not going to be getting past Ness in this match. He did focus on the midfield boost though. Instead of grabbing that back corner, he recognized he could get everything he wanted, which is the 100 at the midfield and a starved out Ness, whereas if he had just accepted grabbing the back corner, they both would have been at 100 and 
wouldn't been, would not have been as good of a situation for Juicy, who's wall dashing his way back to the ball. And this shot is just high enough over Nass that it should be a tough save, one that he cannot control. Puts it off the backboard, and Juicy looking to try and pin him back. Right now, Nass has done well in defense. Missed huge here, though. Juicy can he get around the ball. He cannot. He tried to tap it in towards the net. Couldn't get enough of an angle. Now Juicy attacking from the ceiling. Nass went all the way back. The ground pinch needed to be a bit harder if he wanted to get back before the recovery or get the ball through before Nass was back on the recovery. Now with 55 seconds left to go, it has mostly been Nass just keeping a clean slate on defense that has been the difference right now. He allowed Juicy one goal by slamming the ball too far off the backboard. Juicy now going to go for a pogo. He has really no other choice. Running at a boost short of the net. And although he is able to slow down the offensive Nass in the last couple minutes, he hasn't been able to find any of his own. So it could be a good sign for the series going forward for Juicy in terms of keeping Nass out of the scoring column. But he's going to have to find some offense of his own. Nass wants a full field dribble. He is threatening a lot and decides to use the side flip off the reset. Top left corner. Nass is looking so good in 1v1 right now. Nass, camera check. He wants the 7 1. Surely, Juicy's going to back off and. Let him take a shot. Oh my goodness, Nass. It is crossbar down, but Nass very clearly in the zone in this game number one against Juicy. Game number two. I'm sure if you look at just the last few minutes of the previous game, it didn't look quite as bad for Juicy. But it's still all Nass, as like I said before. Juicy's only goal so far came as a gift from Nass, but this one's going to come as a gift as well. And, you know, it's not the worst strategy ever, depending on who you're playing against, to just rely on the occasional gift. But Nass, so far, hasn't been the kind of guy to give you many free ones. I like this fake kickoff from Juicy. He's going to give him possession from the back corner. He very much likes to attack through the air. Nass faking the challenge high on the ceiling, forcing Juicy back down to the ground. But that flick was much better than the flicks you saw from him previously. If Juicy was only able to get the kind of power we saw before, you can guarantee he'll never get past Nass, but that time, forcing a much tougher save, and the result is possession that is still in his favor, though. That dribble just really had no end, no purpose in sight. And he just drops the ball, gets himself bumped, and it'll be a Nass freebie. There is at least one planned match after this. We should be having Moxie and Razier's on. And there's a small chance of a third. It'll have to it'll have to be decided while we're doing these other matches whether or not we'll be able to get that one. Juicy could not cut it inside the opposite post. Nass not protecting the ball at all. Juicy! Oh, for a second there I thought he wasn't going to get a goal from this. He absolutely needed to. Nass, maybe thought Juicy was going to leave him there. You see Nass creeping up on the back wall, looking to turn to cut and maybe put the ball in field. Something that he could do if there was no opponent around. And it'd probably be the best way to start his low boost possession. But the reality was there was an opponent around. Juicy did not leave and has himself his first lead. Juicy trying his best to save his boost here pinned back. He spent the entirety of the first game trying to survive as Nass kept him on zero before eventually scoring. Much better this time around from Juicy as he gets 100. That flick is still better than the ones we saw previously. Didn't have the power, but at the very least, he was able to follow it up. Did he prevent this from going in? No, he didn't. So while I say it was improved, it obviously wasn't good enough. Maybe just needed to accept the fact that he was going to have to hand over possession, but I do think he could have pressured that better after Nass's touch than he could his previous flicks.
Mass. Not the kind of power you want. In fact, dropping it right down to Juicy. The one he had to finish the previous game. Certainly one he would have liked back and had there, but... Now to be Juicy up one. That is a, certainly a new kickoff that I haven't seen yet, and it might not be an issue. Juicy makes it back and gets a save. He is pushing the kickoff meta even further. Nass, that dribble ain't it. Juicy's going to have a free goal. Nass looked so comfortable in game one. But it all comes down to the first touch on that one. I don't think he intended to push the ball as far away from the net as he did. He was just doing his best to try and do damage control. Juicy's going to make it 5-2. Someone asked, have Drally or Nas moved away from Morocco to be RLCS eligible? Nas has been RLCS eligible. He's been playing on SK Gaming, I think, for the past season. I think they've made it deep into some qualifier runs, but I'm not sure if they made a main event. We'll have to wait and see what's in store for Nass in the coming season. Drally is apparently going to France, but I don't know if he's there yet or not. Nass all the way to the ceiling, and Juicy just barely able to get the save. I wanted to watch that from Juicy's perspective. And yeah, Nass going to give him a nice one because that was placed fairly well. Juicy just got the outplay on the save. 6-2, a big turnaround from what we saw in the previous game. A lot of that has come from Juicy improving on defense and doing so not only has prevented Nass from scoring, but also earned him some easy ones back the other way, as well as Nass has looked just a little bit less on than he did in game one as he flicks this one over the top of the net and Juicy I didn't even feel like he was going supersonic to me. He was definitely out of boost, but apparently he was. And he lands on Nass for the demo. He's able to make it 7-2. I really like Juicy. Play super aggressive. He does not accept the equal distribution of boost. He's not just going to go grab the midfield and let you have the back corner. He is going to take the risk and try and steal it from you. He wants the advantage. And it can be risky, but it paid off for him this time. Does hand Nass the ball though. Nass to the ceiling. Threatening the flick, but Juicy has noticed that Nass, even when he has flicked, has taken a really long time to use it. He, he lets it fall all the way down to the ground or very close before flicking. So Juicy says, Well, screw it. I'll just challenge you early and I'll just take it away since you don't seem to want to use your flip right away. And it's Juicy winning game number two and tying up the series. Game number three. Nass into whatever this car is. Still just a Fennec. As he tries to find the answer. To be fair, he switched out of a car that he won in. Not often when you see players switching. Nass reset near ceiling heights. And this time, the flick is undefendable. It's a really solid setup from Nass. You can see targeting the middle part of the net to maybe even the far side. As soon as he gets one touch after the reset, he is guiding it even farther away from Juicy, who's on the back wall, making it as tough as possible for Juicy to make his save. And Nass will try and do it again here. Juicy's going to pinch this ball. It's bouncing down, but not quite in over the top. Juicy's had enough of having to defend Nass dribbles, but he's forced to leave now. And Nass will dribble from the ground. Wants the 50. Can't get it. Wants to play his possession to the back wall. Juicy chasing him down, looking for demos, forcing Tenas to play as fast as possible. In doing so prevents him from being able to find the angle. Nass, he did not expect that bounce. I'm assuming if we go back and watch from his perspective, it was maybe a trickier bounce than it looked like from Juicy's. But he thought he was going to be able to follow that up off the back wall. Instead, it flew way over the top. Juicy fake kickoff just barely evades the demo. And now he wants to bring the ball right back to the net with Nass on zero. But took just enough time to allow Nass to swing to the 100. So actually the advantage is back the other way. 
Juicy challenges early. Yes. Popping the ball. To try and keep it away from Juicy's control, but he has just been so aggressive on the ball. It's going to get him beat out this time, though. Nass backs off. Says, if you, with that little boost, really want to try and play the possession, I'll let you. And his shot is sent back the other way quickly. Wave dash kickoff was leading to another wall to air dribble for Nass. But Juicy continues to try and pinch that away. He knows he's giving away possession, but he doesn't want to see that first dribble. Nice pre-jump from Juicy. Will win in the race to the back corner boost, so Nass will be leaving him with a dribble. As he goes to ceiling height for the reset, needs to get it back down. What can't 50 with Nass? Nass, not the best first touch. Goes for a slight pogo. <laughs> I don't know if you could call it a pogo, but you know, have the spirit of angling your car to pop it on the landing. Nass controlling this one into his corner. Juicy continuing to be that pest. Not let Nass get a clean possession, but he will back off now, and he needed to fully back off. There was a bit of indecision there from Juicy. He either needed to continue his insane attacking ways and dive before Nass got the ball clean. But as soon as he let the ball get on top of Nass's car, he needed to just bail. Otherwise, he was getting it flicked over the top of him. Nass popping this ball up to Juicy. Name of the game is how much boost can he save while collecting the ball. Nass let that get a little bit too close. He does backflip it into the crossbar. And he has a two-goal lead still. Much lower scoring game so far than our previous two. Juicy should have the recovery here. Able to evade a potential demo. He swung a bit too wide. He does make his way back. Again, just barely able to take the boost away from Nass. Falling down for the reset. Oh my goodness, Juicy. What a read. He recognized it so early that he could not boost again. Like for a full second, there was no boosting because he knew the ball was eventually going to be falling on his car. So he just air rolls to get the reset. It's not enough to get past Nass. His defense is back to being a brick wall in game number three. Juicy looking to try and pin him back. Nice shot, delays the flip and is able to force the 50 through. Not playing it directly into Nass's pre-jump. Waiting until Nass started to even slightly fall off the pre-jump. And he's making that save, falling away from the ball. This allows Juicy to dunk it in. Nass going to take this away from Juicy, who's wall dashing on the right side of the field. He'll start his dribble from the left. It's a really strong dribble at that. Juicy able to get the save off the crossbar. Nass almost got it by with just pure speed and power. Now it's Juicy the other way. Reads the challenge just a little bit late. Can't drop it down for the low 50. Before Nass is able to dunk it over the top. Juicy, another one of those weak flicks. Now he's trying to chase Nass down. Did not succeed in doing so. He's going to have a tough time recovering on this one. Nass into his wall to air dribble. Juicy, immediate challenge. Takes the ball away. Could read that Nass was going for the same wall, dribble, wall to air dribble setup he's been doing all match long. And said, I'm going to read that like a book. 30 seconds. And the still the onus is on Juicy to play on the ball and force an opportunity. Nass is up one. Juicy chasing Nass down. No boost for him. Has to hope for a favorable 50. Wave dashing around. Does get the ball on top of his car. Will he leave out to the midfield? No, he's going to stay aggressive. Bumping Nass in the process of stealing his 100. Nass lobbing it away. Juicy's going to have a hard time collecting this possession. Yeah, Nass is going to be the first one to the ball. So Nass doing a good job of playing keep away. And this ball slamming down to the ground. And Nass will finish it off. So low scoring game number three. It seemed like Juicy was working his way back late, but Nass was able to hold him off. Game number four. Nass 
able to take this lead on a really close game three, but both of them have massive game wins to their name. And if you've watched the channel a ton, you've heard me talk about it before. A lot of ones games will do that. There will be game one and game two will be a massive win in opposite players' favors. But then usually from then on, it cleans up as they get a feel for how the other are playing, how the other are winning. Usually tightens up and certainly did in game three. Nass is going to get a demo to take the early lead. This wave dash kickoff this time just results in him setting up Juicy for a dribble. Who gets his reset far away from the net and probably needed to not use his flip there. Oh, Nass! Missed touch. That was an opportunity to corral the ball in before the recovery. Juicy goes out to grab a 50, a very unfavorable one. But he recovers again. He's just relying on his recoveries to keep himself safe. Nass, he's got multiple resets here. Juicy able to let that fall to the ground, though. Nass was trying to dribble from far away from the net. This time, a ceiling reset is brought down to the ground. Juicy is going to be able to get this 100, though. This pinch is really just a way to slow Juicy down. But it will be a Juicy possession. He heads to the ceiling. This is a great setup to threaten, and it'll be a goal. Nass couldn't get the read. I want to watch this from his perspective because it is sent down kind of at an angle that it was already on, but just a bit faster than Nass could deal with. Nass not able to get his boost. Juicy is a boost gremlin. It's very much been focused almost more on Nass not getting boost than he cares about himself getting 100. Nass to the back wall. If patterns repeat themselves. Juicy will be very aggressive here in the corner and not allow Nass to get anything for free. Nass is very capable of taking that full court dribble or full field dribble all the way from the back wall to the net. Certainly a way to punish Juicy for hovering so close behind it. Oh, Juicy, what a shot! Oh my goodness, Nass is going to throw him the nice one. Juicy from the inside of the net finds a way to get out in front of the ball and tap it perfectly back on. That is an impossible shot to make. But for Juicy, it's no big deal. Nass should be able to tie it up with a kickoff goal. The kickoff goals have slowed down both ways. Juicy wanted to make a play on that ball early. Maybe recognized he shouldn't tap the ball to Nass to try and get a soft touch that he can follow. But the touch wasn't as soft as it needed to be. And Nass, he has seen a few different fake kickoffs on this diagonal. And he's probably been preparing for it this time. He just chips it directly in. 3-2 for Nass. He's going to fake kick off right back. Now he's got himself another nice possession. Having to take this dribble from high to low can be tough to create a scoring opportunity from. So Nass instead restarts again as a ceiling reset and has boomed the ball off the back wall. Luckily for him, got back to it before Juicy could make a play. Juicy's right now just trying to wait to see if Nass will leave him because he has 100 boosts and he has an advantage and Nass is going to leave him. Allow him to collect the ball and flick and you can see Nass almost thinking twice about his decision to give so much space. As soon as he grabs 100, he wants to turn right back in. It doesn't matter. Juicy had the read. Launches the flick for the tie game. Juicy, nice pop over the top of Nass. The side flip flick. Nass grabs the 100, starts to shadow, decides, I want to challenge him here in the corner. Juicy has been prepared. He's had quick collections of the ball in order to punish Nass. He's got himself another kickoff advantage. He's going to put it behind Nass. He's going to get a demo in the process. He didn't need to. The big thing was that he got the ball quickly and forced Nass to make an immediate cut 
back to the net to make a save. We've seen a ton of different times when Juicy wasn't playing it as quickly. He was actually giving Nas time to go grab the 100 and return to net. This time around, Nas starts creeping towards that 100, but recognizes too late. He has to rush back. So a two-goal lead for Juicy. Nas going to just try and... Or, or, sorry, Juicy is just going to try and demo Nas from this position. And he succeeds in doing so. Juicy wall to air dribble. Nice low dribble. Goes for the pogo and needs that ball to at least slightly head towards Nass. But he pops it backwards and it turns into a pass. Nass looks like he's just trying to speed this to the net before Juicy can get there. But he misses off the crossbar and in post, but out. Juicy now. Another one of his dribbles where he tries to turn in a tough setup into an air dribble. And the downside of those is they cost a lot of boost. So you need to have a full hundred. You want to try and go for it. Nass wanted to creep it inside the near post, but didn't quite give it enough power. So it got there too slow. Nass, what a shot, but Juicy has to save off of the post and it's a goal for him juicy solid defense matching some expert offense has got him in the lead right now wave dash kickoff for juicy a mix up from him we haven't seen so far it had been nas sticking to the wave dash and juicy just going standard over and over wave dash proving to be useful for him as he tries to hold off Nass and force a game five. Double wave dash. Juicy wins it into the blue half though and Nass is not gonna be able to stop that power. And he's out of the match, presumably. To say he wanted to go next. He didn't say that he wanted to go next, but I think it's fair to say that he wants to go next. <laughs> Maybe he'll rejoin. I don't know. I, I prefer a, a nice GG and then a leave match, but Maybe Juicy can give us some stylish double resets to Pogos while we wait. Oh, triple reset. Uh, that was a forfeit, yeah? Uh, oh, you left. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll ask him party. That was a forfeit, yeah? It was 4-9 at 49 seconds on the off chance there was some really unfortunate yeah okay uh dc or something or i don't know <laughs> game five nas versus juicy juicy has been looking really solid in 1v1 recently and a win over nas it's about as good as it gets in the 1v1 world nas a tough guy to take down and i should make it clear that i don't think it's because nas is you know, playing a poor game. I think Nas is playing as good as you could hope. Juicy is just rising to that level. Get Killeers in a 1v1? Yeah, I'll, I'll be asking Killeers if he's interested in 1v1. I'd love to get him on. Oh, Nas. This is what I like to call the side swipe shot. When you get the reset, did he wave dash into this as well? Uh, the the slow-mo doesn't even let us really see what happened, but he instantly used the jump to just push the ball forward. And in sideswipe, you can get like a ton of power with that shot. Juicy down too quickly. The first 30 seconds. Up into an air dribble, Nass flipping away to the goal line. Juicy, oh my goodness. That power is going to be the reason why he gets scored on, but he certainly can flick the ball. That was not getting saved if it was inside the net. Yeah, Kileris has been 
playing a bit of ranked ones recently. So I'll definitely reach out to him to see if he's interested in matches as well. The last time that he played, I think, was the World Cup, the 1v1 World Cup. And he had some good wins in that. I mean, by all means, it looks like Kileos could be a serious ones contender if he wants to. Nice. Dropping in a fourth as Juicy reverts back to that game number one where he just got pinned back. So little boost to work with. Felt like there was no way out. Juicy denied his kickoff opportunity. Ass quickly turning it back the other way. Juicy pinned on the crossbar. Not the best position. As Nass has him reversing in net, he is able to handle this shot though. He has been diving on the ball anytime he sees an opportunity, and he notices Nass gave him a window there. So he has collected it. He's taking it to the blue back wall. Can he find a way through? Gonna bump Nass here. Try and take him out of the play. Nass gonna back off, allow this ball to come to the ground. Juicy's flick keeps Nass from getting a touch, but a double demo will probably favor Nass. Depends on how the respawns work, but yes, Nass is going to get the first possession. Nass resets. Make sure to stand still as he landed in order to not play his way into a demo that Juicy was swinging by to get. Reset bump. No, Nass has the save. Puts it off the backboard, and Juicy trying his best to recover. It's not going to matter. Nass is even going to cut it on the goal line to waste another half second or so. And it's a 5-0 lead in game five. Nass is clutching out. Mr. Rank one right now. Showing that he has put in the work recently. Nass playing keep away. Oh, the no look. You love to see it. And it's the GG's, the no look that ends the series. No goals for Juicy in the final game. Nass knows he has the double, so he turns on the reverse cam and sends Juicy home. My goodness, what a way to finish. Two minutes left to go, but that game was all Nass's. And he wins 3-2 in the best of five. <laughs> Hit him with the no look to send him home, man. This is Juicy grabbing the shot. Oh, let's watch it from here. We saw it from Juicy's perspective already. In and out of the net, has to time his flip to just perfectly drop it around Nass. If, you, if you're watching from Nass's perspective, you just like, he just threw a nice one. He's just like, yeah, what can you do? Oh, <laughs> Nass didn't rush the ball as much as he could have. 53 boost, like he could have attacked it like crazy. But I'm sure he's thinking, Juicy's flipping out of the net and then I'm just getting a free possession. Like I don't even need to worry about the ball. Uh, because there's no way Juicy's making a real play. Either Juicy's slamming it back into the orange half himself, or he's just missing. But nope. We'll, we'll go slow-mo. Alright, it went way far back. Why'd it go so far back? Oh, the timing of the flip, too. That, that's a nasty one.